What's up everybody? Welcome to another episode of Kingdom Car Wash and more. And more, we have today an episode with a the years between 2003 until 2007 Dodge Grand Caravan, Dodge Caravan, Dodge SXT, Town and Country, uh motors 3.3 and 3.8. They 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 are the same motors. They just uh upgraded a couple things on the 3.8 to give it a little bit more uh, torque horsepower But they're basically the same engines the can the same setting the same everything um, You need to make sure that your brakes uh, when you're doing this do not have um, Make sure that the brakes do not uh, you don't you do not have um, Well, make sure that all four of your brakes on your vehicle on, on your van on your Dodge Caravan uh, including all the other models that I announced uh, they do not have drums drum brakes in the back you cannot have drums in the back it has to be four disc brakes meaning the front brakes have calipers with the rotors and the rear brakes have calipers with the rotors those are four disc brakes if you have the rear brakes that don't have a caliper and all you see is a metal plate uh, then you most likely are going to only have the drum brakes in the back so the brake master cylinder is only for these vehicles with, that have disc brakes in the front and the rear and are a 3.8 liter and a 3.3 liter engine between the years of 2003 through 2007 Dodge Grand Caravan including the models that I indicated this is a brake master cylinder replacement there is brake fluid coming into the driver's side floorboard if you start seeing uh, like a water puddle it's gonna look like water if you put your hand to the touch of it you're gonna see that it's oil it's your brake fluid the oil and the brake fluid basically looks like uh, vegetable oil frying pan oil same color get the concept uh, so in order to replace the brake master cylinder you go to a mechanic place You'll be playing about three hundred to four hundred dollars if you know how to do it yourself if you're mechanically inclined Or you're smart enough to be able to follow instructions, then you'll be able to do this job on your own Always remember to like subscribe comment and share to my channel for new upcoming videos Today's video is repairing brake master cylinder so this is the removal of the brake master cylinder. You need to make sure that you have a long ratchet. I extended mine with two extensions along with a long socket 13 inch for the rear bolts that are mounted onto the brake booster. So you're gonna see the, the bolts all the way in the back right there. Those bolts that you see there are 13 millimeters. You're going to remove those two bolts. There's one on each side. Holding the brake master cylinder to the brake booster. You're going to have these two lines here. One, it goes in this hole here. This would go inside here. Like that and screw into there. You're going to remove the first one first. Then you're going to remove the second one first. Which is right here it goes into that hole it screws in that'll be a 12 millimeter socket you'll be pulling towards your way and you loosen those bolts it'll, you'll pop that out don't bend them move them out the way nice and uh in a safe position where you don't bend them you're also going to have a uh sensor this sensor here is going to slip right into this hole right, right into the middle here into a hole and snap into another position uh, where to lock into the plastic as you see there's a clamp on it it'll lock in that's the sensor be gentle with it pull it to the side where I'm showing you to we're gonna unloosen the bolts now stick your hand here unloosen the nut get a hold of it put it up here on your dashboard so it doesn't fall and we're gonna unloosen the, the, the left side 
Brake master cylinder will be on the driver's side behind the battery. You will have to remove the battery as you see I did. As soon as I remove this, the brake fluid is going to start coming out. Uh, if the brake master cylinder is bad, then there will be brake fluid inside the... brake booster and that's why you're getting uh, brake fluid into your floorboard as soon as I seen this issue uh, there was an issue here I immediately stopped driving the van it is dangerous it is, a, is it, it is a hazard and it is life-threatening this is what's gonna going, going to come out that's the part that slips into to the brake booster there's brake fluid in here if you see I'm leaning it to the left if I lean it towards the other way, these two holes uh, opposite way downward, all the brake fluid will start coming out. I don't want that. I have my new brake, my new brake booster right here. Make sure you match them up. Oh shit! All right. So I'm going to have to switch my reservoir tank because this reservoir tank, oh no, actually I don't have to. I just actually took out the whole, um, this, uh, this is the sensor. It's in here. These tanks usually get a little gunk in the inside. Uh, try to clean it as best as you can it's very minimal gunk um, this one has brake fluid in it if you see the colors it's a little dark inside that's from the inside of the reservoir tank on the walls has a film so we're gonna go ahead and replace it now we have the new one here and we have the old one here So let's get to work. Uh, once you're done, you'll take your brake boost, your, your brake master cylinder, and you'll slide it in inside the hole here. Right in there, right inside that hole, as you see, right inside here. Slowly, making sure that everything is aligned and it goes inside the hole. Then you're gonna make sure that the nuts go inside the right way, as you see, just like that. You'll put the nuts back on. You'll tighten the brake uh, master cylinder onto the brake booster. You'll put the lines back on. You'll tighten those. Once you're done with that, if you wanna make sure there's no air in the brake system, um, then open up your bleeders on your calipers have somebody sit press the brake in a little bit of brake fluid to come out each of the bleeders you'll tighten it afterwards then you'll pump the brakes the, pre the brakes to get hard they'll have pressure inside and your brake will be back to normal and your brake uh your brakes will be working perfectly they should be working perfectly if you have any further questions feel free to comment thanks for watching another episode this time how to be a mechanic, do it on your own so that you don't pay three, four hundred dollars for this kind of job at a brake shop, especially with the inflation that has happened now in these days. Thanks again for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and share. Kingdom, car wash, and more. And we're out.